Selenium is an important mineral that is needed for proper functioning of our body. And unfortunately, most of the people are low in selenium. So today I'm going to share with you eight foods which are high in selenium that you must consume on the regular basis. But before we move forward, please like and subscribe to our channel. So what is selenium and what does selenium do to your body? So selenium is an important mineral that is needed by your body for proper functioning of your immune system, for proper functioning of your thyroid. But most importantly, selenium is an important part of your enzymatic processes. There are at least 1000 enzymes in your body which are doing work every day for the proper functioning of your body. And selenium is critical in several of those enzymes. So first of all, the important part of selenium is that it helps with your immune function. So your immunity gets stronger if your selenium is in good shape. The second role of selenium is that it acts as an antioxidant. Now, what are antioxidants? Antioxidants are compounds which fight inflammation in your body. So when selenium levels goes low, your inflammation levels goes high, especially in people with thyroid and Hashimoto's and autoimmune conditions. The third role selenium has in your body is of maintaining your thyroid. It has been shown that low selenium levels are the reason that people get thyroid disorders and Hashimoto's disorder. And they can able to reverse their Hashimoto's by taking selenium supplementations. So that's the reason selenium is very important mineral in your body. But unfortunately, a lot of people are low into it. So that's the reason I'm going to share eight foods that you must consume to improve your selenium levels. So the first and the most important food which helps improve selenium levels is Brazil nuts. Yes, Brazil nuts are wonderful supplementations that can help with your selenium levels. One single Brazil nut can have up to 90 micrograms of selenium, which is actually good enough to give you enough selenium on the regular basis. Now, unfortunately, with different varieties of Brazil nuts and different ways of growing it, this level might vary but still Brazil nuts are a good source of selenium for you. Now, there are other benefits of Brazil nuts too. So Brazil nuts are a great source of good fats and they also have a lot of antioxidants. So again, Brazil nuts can help reduce inflammation in your body and again can keep your thyroid in good shape. The second food which is high in selenium is sunflower seeds. Yes, not many people know that one cup of sunflower seeds can have up to 90 micrograms of selenium. So there are great source of selenium that sunflower seeds can provide to you. There are other benefits of, of sunflower seeds also, like there are good source of vegetarian protein. They are very low in glycemic index and plus they are good source of fiber also. So sunflower seeds again can help with reducing inflammation, can help with the weight loss, can actually keep your gut in good shape. So all those benefits are there. So I recommend everybody to have sunflower seeds as their snack or maybe on top of your salads so that way you can get your selenium and other benefits. The third source of selenium is seafood. Especially tuna fish is high in selenium. It can have up to 90 micrograms of selenium again, one serving of tuna fish. So again, that is great source of selenium. Other fish like halibut, sardines also have selenium into them. Other seafoods, like oysters, like clams, they are also high in selenium and the selenium level in them can vary between 40 micrograms to 60 micrograms of one serving of all these seafoods. Now, seafood also have other benefits. Seafoods are also high in zinc and iodine levels. So again, one of those important things which are also needed by functioning of your thyroid as well as for your immune function. Seafood are also a good source of protein. So they can also provide you low glycemic index food protein that your body can process. One major issue with seafood is that they can be high in mercury. And mercury toxicity can lead to thyroid disorders and other autoimmune conditions. So you have to be very careful with consuming seafood. Only get local, organic, wild caught seafood. So that way the chances of having mercury in them is lower. The next food which is good for selenium is actually oats. Yes, oatmeal, especially steel cut oats, have good amount of selenium in them. They don't have as high as other foods, but they have between 20 micrograms to 25 micrograms of selenium is present in one cup of 
cooked, especially steel cut oats. Now, the more processed the oats are, the less selenium they have. So those instant oatmeals will have almost half of the selenium of the steel cut oats. So I always recommending getting steel cut oats so that you can get the benefit of selenium and other things also. Now, oats are also very great gluten-free alternatives. Now, not all oats are gluten-free. So make sure the oats that you're getting are gluten-free. So oats can give you good fiber. It's Oats are also low glycemic foods. So it can be good for your gut health as well as can sometimes be helpful for reducing weight also. So that way oatmeal can again be a good source of selenium for you. The next food which is also high in selenium is tofu. Yes, tofu which is made from soy also has good amount of selenium into it. One cup of cooked tofu has around 43 micrograms of selenium. Now, tofu has other benefits also. So tofu, again, is a very good vegetarian source of protein, especially for people who do not tolerate meats or cannot eat meats for various reasons. Now, tofu is also helpful for reducing inflammation as well as can actually be helpful for reducing weight also. But there is a major concern. Tofu is made from soy. And there is a concern that soy can be harmful for people, especially who have autoimmune conditions or thyroid conditions, especially Hashimoto's. So I always caution people with how much tofu they are consuming. So a few things you can do actually to lower this concern about soy is that, first of all, you buy non-GMO soy. Second of all, it should be organic. So if you do these two things, then the chances of soy actually harming your thyroid is lesser as compared to if you buy the regular tofu. The next food which is high in selenium is mushrooms. Yes, mushrooms are for me superfoods. There are so many different varieties of mushrooms and each and every variety has so many nutrients packed into it. Especially shiitake mushroom have high amount of selenium. One cup of cooked shiitake mushroom can have up to 35 micrograms of selenium into them. So wonderful source. Other mushrooms which have high amount of selenium are potbella mushrooms and even button mushrooms. But the, but the selenium levels in them are much lesser as compared to the shiitake mushrooms. Now the other benefits of consuming mushrooms is that they have a lot of different vitamins and minerals. Especially these are one of the only food sources which do have some vitamin D into them. So again, most people are low in vitamin D. So at least mushrooms can provide you some vitamin D to the food sources. The other food which can provide you some selenium is rice. Yes, rice is a very great gluten-free grain which does have some selenium into it. Now it depends on what kind of rice you are eating uh, because different varieties of rice have different selenium levels. So for example, brown rice has higher selenium levels or almost 16 micrograms of selenium in one cup of cooked brown rice. While at the same time, white rice has only 8 to 9 micrograms of selenium. So obviously it is better choice to eat brown rice as compared to the white rice. Now rice is a great gluten-free alternative, but it does provide you a lot of carbohydrates. So I always recommend limiting the amount of rice, especially if you have weight issues or especially if you have thyroid issues. The last food which is also high in selenium is beans. Yes. Beans have several benefits, but they are also high in selenium. One cup of cooked beans can provide you up to 12 to 13 micrograms of selenium. So if you look at it, beans alone do not have high amount of selenium. But when you can combine beans with, let's say, brown rice and with some mushrooms, then the selenium level is increasing very drastically in your meals. So again, beans have other benefits. They have good sources of fiber. They are again good sources of protein, especially for people who are vegan or vegetarian. So again, having beans on the regular basis can be helpful. Now again, it depends on what kinds of beans are you getting. Especially canned beans can be a little bit more harmful because canned beans have lesser amount of selenium and have higher amount of carbohydrates. So I always recommend uh, cooking beans on your own, soaking them first and then pressure cooking beans can definitely help improve the digestion of the beans. So you see, these are eight great foods which you must have if you are working on your selenium levels. And as I shared with you, selenium is very important for your body. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.